Because the events that occur in interphase allow mitosis to take place, let us begin our examination of mitosis by taking a closer look at interphase cells. Interphase is defined as the period of a cell's life cycle between one mitosis and the next mitosis, the period of cell growth. As can be seen in this microscopic image of an onion root, some cells are dividing, but the nuclei of most of the cells are round and intact. These are interphase cells. Average human cells, such as these that form connective tissue, spend about 19 hours in interphase, and only between 50 to 90 minutes in mitosis and cell division. However, there is considerable variation among different types of cells as to how much their life cycles are spent in interphase and in mitosis. For example, this human nerve cell rarely reproduces. Instead, it can remain in interphase for up to 60 years. Because nerve cells rarely reproduce, even to replace dead or damaged cells, nerve damage, such as results from strokes or spinal cord injuries, is usually very serious. On the opposite end of the scale from nerve cells are cancer cells. These purple stained cancer cells stand out clearly against a background of red blood cells were taken from a leukemia victim. Cancer cells like these do not remain in the interphase state very long. Instead, mitosis and cell division continues at a furious pace. In fact, cancer can be thought of as cells that never rest, that divide over and over again, never remaining very long in interphase. Even though it is often thought of as a resting state between cell divisions, a lot is actually happening inside the nucleus throughout much of this stage of a cell's life cycle. During a phase, deoxyribonucleic acid, or DNA, the enormous molecule that forms the cell's genes and that holds all cells operating instructions, duplicates itself. Deep inside the nucleus of interphase cells, the two DNA strands unwind as new copies of the DNA are created. Scientists refer to this process of DNA duplication as replication because exact replicas of the DNA are produced. The replication of a cell's DNA makes it possible for two complete sets of biological instructions to be sent into the new daughter cells. During mitosis, DNA is found within chromosomes. Chromosomes don't actually exist during interphase. Instead, DNA and protein form the grainy threads we see here called chromatin. The presence of chromatin is one indication a cell is in interphase. For only with the onset of mitosis does the chromatin mold itself into the distinct shapes of the chromosome seen here. Scientists still do not understand the exact role that chromosomes play within the cell, but it seems likely that chromosomes are the best way to package DNA, and consequently genes, for shipment into the newly formed cells. The chromosomes seen here, taken from the salivary gland of a fruit fly, provide a convenient material for scientific study because they are 10 times longer and 100 times thicker than normal chromosomes. Working with these cells, scientists have discovered that the dark and light bands we see here are the actual location of genes on the chromosomes. And their studies have also shown that when a particular gene on one of these chromosomes becomes active, the spot on the chromosome where that gene is located takes on a strange, puffed-out appearance. During mitosis, the appearance, movement, separation, and disappearance of chromosomes is of critical importance to the cell reproductive process. In fact, by recognizing what is happening to the chromosomes, we can identify each of the four stages of mitosis.